Max, I'll start with you. Do you agree that the Rockets would have won if they had CP3? Yes, I do. Now, I get Eric Gordon. It's not the right thing to say. You're not supposed to. You're just supposed to credit the winner and everything. And I get I also picked the Rockets, so it sounds like sour grapes. In neither Eric Gordon's case nor my case do I think that's the case. I think he's just being honest. And I have to be honest. I think if Chris Paul was there, they win the game. Uh, I think it not only because he is their, you know, one of their two best players, and in fact, in a big game, I'd probably take him over James Harden, maybe their best player under pressure. But um, I think part of that influence that Chris Paul has on a game is that, no, they don't miss 27 straight threes with him on the floor, partly because he's taken some of those threes, partly because he's going to get to the paint when he sees the threes aren't falling and make something happen. You know, you got to collapse the defense getting to the paint. This is something the broadcasters were bringing up repeatedly during the game, but we all know it. It's still about the painted area, just not a center posting up with his back to the basket anymore. Still got to get there to control the game, even the spacing and all that stuff to collapse the defense. So Chris Paul would have seen that. He is, as Stephen A. says, constantly a floor general. He would have been the difference there. Stephen A., if they had Chris Paul. But I, I want to get to an even broader point. There's a difference between heart, which the Rockets showed. The Rockets showed heart last night. They went down, but they went down swinging. There's a difference between heart and will to win. Heart, you can, you can go down swinging, but you know you're going down. Will to win is, damn it, no matter what happens, we're going to find a way. It's not enough just to go out valiantly and keep fighting. We're actually going to win this thing. And I think that's what Chris Paul brings to this team, a will to win, to win, not just play hard, but to win, that was missing on the court last night. You're the same guy that started off the show saying that CP3 didn't really have much to do with seven for 44 shooting from three-point range. They were just laying bricks. I said, excuse me, Chris Paul being out and James Harden running the show and having to do all that he had to do and what have you had a lot to do with how they struggled from the perimeter. You fought me for the first 20 minutes of the show on that point, and now you've conceded that Chris Paul being out may have influenced why they were shooting the way that they were shooting. Now, let me tell you this. No, they wouldn't have won anyway, in my okay. opinion. They wouldn't have won. Uh, of course, it's always a mischaracterization for you because you're always all over the place. And then when I call you on it, oh, we don't know. We, because you got to remember, America, listen, listen to what America needs to understand. Max Kellerman is never wrong. He's either right or we simply have the inability to comprehend. He can't oh, so possibly you do understand. be wrong. Can't possibly. So can't you do understand. Okay, never wrong. mind. Just like I was going to have to clean Rockets that up, but you got it. Yep. You, weren't wrong about the, you weren't wrong about that either. Do you know that I'm staying in Houston? I'm staying in Houston because Houston's playing game one of the finals Thursday night, according to Max Skeleton. I mean, <laughs> far be it for you to be wrong. I mean, this is what's what it is. Now, let me say this to you. CP3, they wouldn't have won anyway. I think it would have been an entirely different game. I think that CP3 being out is what had the Golden State Warriors rattled at the very beginning. Because when you know they're without him and you're fresh off of the second half explosion in game six where you outscored Houston 64 to 25, I think you came up in there not living true and up to your identity. You got a bit lax. You got a bit careless. You got a little bit anxious, and you played out of character. And ultimately, you had to be reminded of who you are because Steve Kerr had to do that for you. And I think that the steady presence of the Sean Livingstons of the world to some degree, and obviously Steph Curry playing the way that he played, and Kevin Durant being more reliable and not being asked to play with his back to the basket, all of those things help. It definitely would have been a different kind of game, which David West and others admitted after the game. It would have been a different kind of game if CP3 had, had played. And they probably would have had to do something a little bit different or a little bit ex or more extraordinary in order to win the game. But I think in the end, Golden State would have found a way. If you remember, that was one of the things that I said. If everybody's healthy, with or without, I said, I don't care who it is, Golden State's going to win, even if it's a game seven at the Toyota Center. And I think that's what we saw happen. I just find CP3 would have changed things to some degree, but not the outcome, in my opinion.